In this video, I'm going to show you how to open multiple programs with just one click. There are three easy steps we're going to go through to open multiple programs with just one click. First one is create a batch file. Second is create a shortcut. And third is add that shortcut to the start menu. One quick tip before we start is it's really good to go and file all your automation files, including your batch file somewhere really easy to find. For me, this is just in my documents folder and then I created an overall folder called automations and stored them all in there. Okay, so let's get into it. First thing is I've got a folder ready inside my batch folder to actually save all the batch files that we might create for this tutorial. Next, open up your favorite notepad editor. For me, this is Sublime Text, or you can just use the Windows notepad. This works just fine. First step I take when I create a brand new batch file is I'll actually go and create a blank page and save it instantly. Then I know it's actually set up as a batch file right from the start. And you're gonna know that by opening the folder you've saved it to, and you can see the icon is those gear symbols. That means it's, that means it's definitely a batch file. So we're ready to write some commands. First thing we always do in a batch file, first line is we type at echo off. This basically stops the command line popping up when you, you do execute these shortcuts. Next thing is we'll go to the next line, that means it's a new command, and we'll type the word start in capital letters. And this means that we're gonna start something, start a program basically. This is the command start a program. The next thing we need to do is go and find the exact name of the exe or application file. So in this case, it's sublime underscore text. So I'm just going to select that. And what I'll do here is I'll wrap it in quote marks around it. So I'll do sublime underscore text dot exe in quote marks. Next, you leave a space and you go back and you get the full path to the actual program itself. So in Windows, they've created a really nice little shortcut button to do that. So you can see there's the full path to the program. Next, let's save it and just double click the batch file so far. Great, so it actually works. At this point, all we've really done is created a shortcut though. So let's open up the batch file and let's add in more programs that we want to open with just one click. So I'm just gonna copy them in here. So there we go, we've got pre-process, that's one of the applications I use, and also Chrome. Chrome, opening Chrome with a URL is slightly different than an average file, but I'll come back to that in future tutorials. So there we go, I've got the shortcut that I want to, all the programs I want to open in shortcut basically now. Just save the file and double click it. Yep, looks like everything works. Sublime Text is opening, pre-process is opening, and also Chrome as well. So cool, I'm going to close these really quickly. Next, let's create a desktop shortcut for this batch file that we've created. So we can just right click it, send to, and create shortcut. Next, let's go and change the actual icon of this shortcut. Why? Because it's the batch file icon just isn't very attractive, let's be honest, and it's not very descriptive of what we want. So in my case, I'm just gonna open up the change icons area. I'm gonna choose this folder, but you could actually browse to somewhere else on the computer and find an icon you've created or another program icon. Hit apply and then okay. And you can see that's changed. Next, we wanna add this into our start menu. So this is step three. To do that, we just need to go to the start menu folder and you can see a shortcut to it on screen. So we'll drop, drop that shortcut into the file explorer And you can see that these are all of the programs and, and folders that we have in our start menu. So quite simply, I'm gonna get the shortcut we've created and I'm gonna move it into the start folder. Next, let's open the start menu. We can actually go and see that shortcut in there. So we'll scroll down to W and there it is. One problem is it's not very it's not a very nice name to look at, so let's name it something that's more relevant to the actual task it's performing. So in this case, I'm just going to do open dev programs. So 
So next step that we want to do is just really add it to our quick access tiles. Such an awesome feature of Windows 10 makes things really easy to get to really quickly all your main programs that you use on a daily basis. So you just right click the program you want to pin, pin it to the start menu and then just drag the tile wherever you want. At this point, just for example, I'll close everything and then I'm just simply going to hit the shortcut of the Windows key and that's going to pop open the start menu, bang, one click, all the programs I need open. So at this point, you might be asking yourself, what kind of things can I use this for? Well, here's a couple of examples I personally use myself and hopefully this will get you thinking what you could use it for. Obviously, in this tutorial, I've gone through how I open my default programs, let's say when I'm creating and coding things for the web. Another example is when I open Skype, I want MP3 Skype recorder to open with it. So that's another batch file that I've done and another shortcut that you actually saw on my start menu. And another one is every time I get a new article for Fridge magazine that I edit, I want to just open Word and Photoshop at the same time. So it just makes it, you know, takes that extra second out of opening everything. So there's a couple that I use. Obviously when I'm opening, opening my development environment, that's five programs that I open with one click. That's sort of a good two or three minutes worth of clicking around my computer I've saved. So these batch files are super easy to create and they'll, you know, it will save you an awful lot of time. And yeah, pretty much every startup and every business owner I talk to is show them this. They're like, yep, that's awesome. So I hope this has really helped you. If you've got any questions, feel free to go to the blog link below this video. And I'm happy, go down to the comment section, happy to try and help you out there. So that wraps this video up. In this video, I've gone through how to create a batch file, create a shortcut, and then add that shortcut to the start menu so you can open pro most multiple programs at once with just one click on Windows. I have just gone through the basics. There's so many more things you can do with batch files. So keep your eyes out for some future tutorials and getting a bit more advanced with this stuff and finding more awesome ways to automate our businesses. If you like this video, hit the like button. If you dislike this video, you know what to do. And thank you very much for watching and have an absolutely awesome day.